15. Driving around Andalusia today, you may have seen some people with video cameras, but it wasn't just our camera crew out there. There's an episode of a national TV show being filmed there. It's the latest chapter in a story we brought you exclusively when a woman told us about nearly being murdered by her ex-boyfriend in 2011. Reporter Catalina Trevino was on the set of it all. She joins us live with more. And Kat, you did that original story with her last year. I sure did, Stephanie. I shared Judy Morell's story. It was back in May of 2013. It was actually on the same day her ex-boyfriend was convicted convicted of attempted murder and sexual torture. He was actually given two life sentences. Now, all day film crews have been here on East Three Notch Street. They actually just wrapped up recording, but it's the courage of sharing, of Morell sharing her story with folks here in Alabama that has helped her cope. And now she's going to be sharing her story nationally. Video cameras on scene, and it's not just our camera crew. Cue car. Actors are reenacting the attempted murder of Judy Morell for a television show called Surviving Evil. It plays on the ID cable TV channel, but the story traces back. Judy Morell was tortured in her home for 14 hours. We aired this exclusively back in May 2013 when Morell told us she was tortured and held captive by her ex-boyfriend, Raul Mariano del Toro. She says he also shot her multiple times. I believe that the, when I did the first interview with you that maybe I did help one person and I'm hoping that I help more than one this time. And, you know, I want to show them, you know, you can get out of it. Even Andalusia police officers who were part of the 2011 investigation acted in the episode. Assistant Chief Paul Dean says reenacting scenes have been eerie, but he hopes viewers will learn from what happened to Morell. What I hope happens is if there's someone out there, which we all know there is, that's living in domestic violence, that's living in a... a a bad relationship that could result in, in this similar, uh, a similar conclusion. I hope that they see this show uh, and, it, and it opens their eyes. Morell says watching the scenes haven't been easy. This Dairy Queen parking lot off East Three Notch Street is where she escaped after she says Del Toro kidnapped her to kill her. Show director Alex McIntosh says her story is one of a kind because she lived to tell it. For, I guess many women to, to hardly really is to leave these situations um, in their own heads it's a very hard difficult situation to leave and Judy would, would say that she said you know in the, in the run-up to what happened she, she, she you know found it impossible to leave but as hard as it was to watch the scenes Morell says the impact she'll make to millions of viewers will be all worth it I want to tell my story and get it out there you know there there's things you can do to get out of situations and you just got to people level head at it at the time. Now last year when I talked to uh, Morel, she I'll never forget what she told me. She said that she would never let what Del Toro did to her break her. And she says this show is doing just that, giving her a voice to go out there to victims and tell them that, yes, you can uh, go through whatever you're going through. Back to you, Stephanie. Yeah, she's very brave to share her story. Thanks so much, Catalina. Now, the episode is scheduled to air on the Investigation Discovery Channel in November. Now, if you'd like to see her full story that we did last year, just head over to our website, alabamanews.net.